Good afternoon, Lenny. Yeah, where are you? I'm in, well, where am I? I'm in Cape Town. On Cape Town? I'm in Cape Town. Beautiful place. It is. So I was um, one of the fortunate ones to, to see you play here. Oh, thank you. I, I, hope, I hope people enjoyed it. I can't, you went so quickly. Yes. You know, I, don't, I didn't I know how it went, but I hope people enjoyed it. It, it, it went well enough, I think, uh, for people to anticipate uh, the greatest hits coming shortly. So I think, it, I think you set it up well. Great. But um, just say congratulations on the new track. Um, I got it uh, about a week ago. Mm -hmm. And um, how does it feel for you to to have an album coming that uh, that is the greatest hits? I mean, for you as an artist, I think. It's an, you know, it feels like an honor and an accomplishment, I mean, in a sense, because we're living in a time where careers are very short and mm -hmm. very disposable. Sure. And to have been around for 11 years uh, is a great accomplishment. Sure. And, you know, I've, I've, done it, I've done it the way I've wanted to do it. Mm. You know, I've played the music that I wanted to play. You know. But please, please don't let this um, signal the end of a career because typically um, a greatest hits can either mean one of two things. What does it mean to you? It means to me that I'm just getting going. <laughs> it's, a new it's, a new, it's a new beginning, man, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's nowhere near the end, it's just beginning. Mm -hmm. I mean, when when you reflect on those 11 years, I mean, a lot of things happened um, with you, both in your musical life and in your personal life as well. Is it is it good to almost, as I say, to close off a chapter and start a new? Yeah, definitely. And the new track, again, um, as I said, um, stunning, stunning track, uh, written for anyone in particular? No, just written about a set of circumstances where you meet somebody and make a connection, and, but then you lose them quickly mm. because it, it was just something, a moment, you know? Mm. Mm. And, uh, you wonder, hey man, you know? Mm. Mm. What um, I have to admit, I was <clears throat> I was in the UK at the time that uh, that Five came out, and um, as I said, uh, I think when the album came out, um, a lot of people had anticipated the album, and it came out. It sat around. It didn't truly do anything for a good eighteen months, and when it did truly connect, it was a case of almost like a collective sigh of relief. Because at one point, I thought to myself, "Well, what isn't? What is it that people aren't getting?" And when it connected, obviously. Um, the rest is history for you as far as that's concerned but was there a time that you sort of thought to yourself hold on perhaps I think I'm making great music but it's not connecting with a greater audience I, I don't know what those things are about I mean I've always had to fight and uh, if you think about it how many black people are making rock and roll music it's true and, uh, I don't know what it is man mm. but I, like I said I've always had to fight Mm. Yeah. Mm. I mean, but in, in in having to fight, I mean, obviously, ultimately, it's it's a fight worth fighting. And it's what I do. I, I make music I, that I believe in. I make music into my soul, and that's the best I can do. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Because you know, I mean, in some some respects, um, what it says to me is that that you're writing music that is um, a lot of the time probably ahead of itself. <clears throat> that happens. I mean, look, I look at people. I'm the guy that people love to hate a lot of times. Mm. Critics. Sure. Uh, you know, I go back and I read old things that were written about Led Zeppelin or Jimi Hendrix or mm. people at different times. Mm. And they wrote trash about them, too. Mm. Mm. True. And, uh, I mean, trash. Like, these people are no talented. Nah, nah, nah. Mm. And now they're legends. So, I mean, Mm. Mm. You gotta do what you believe in. You, you know, I don't follow styles. I just do what I do. Sure. And uh, you know, that's what I can do. Well, in some respects, you've yeah, I think you've created a couple of styles as you've gone along as well. Which, as I say, um, you know, looking at the single, uh, the new single as well, it's almost an insistence on your part, written, produced, um, recorded by entirely I, by you. I, I've been doing that though. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, it's what it's the way I like to work. I mean, I enjoy being a producer. Mm -hmm. I enjoy being a session musician. Mm -hmm. 
and I enjoy being a writer and putting it all together. So, mm. I mean, I'm blessed with the talent, so I do it. Mm, 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 mm. I, I, I actually enjoy it. I love playing drums. I love playing guitar. I love playing bass. I love playing keyboards. I love singing. I love arranging. I love you know, all that. Sure, sure. But I mean, does does it have to be self-indulgent sometimes in order for you to get through, uh, you know, some of those tough times? I think for any commercial artist who puts music out, obviously, you you know, you open yourself up to criticism, you open yourself up to applause, to all of that. Right. Um, but, you know, do you have to sort of pull into yourself and, and do it for yourself first before you sort of think? I, I, mm. I only do this for myself. Mm. You know, and then I share it with the world, you know, or mm. whomever wants to listen out there. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, when in, in in putting the greatest hits together, was it a case of you know going through the tracks and I mean these tracks you've played them time and time and time again, but in in, in sort of putting them into a single album, and sort of thinking to yourself, yeah, my God, I've done actually, you know, I've actually done so much um, in a relatively short period of time. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, it's kind of weird to me. I mean, I never thought of having a greatest hits album. Yes. If you would have asked me, I would have never put one out. You know? mm, mm, mm. But uh, the record label thought it was time. Mm. And I was kind of like, wow, okay. <laughs> That's cool. I, I, mean, I would never thought about it, you know? Mm, mm. I'm just thinking about the next, I was working on the next record. Right. And I got a call saying, hey, we're going to put a greatest hits record out. Mm, mm. But I think it's actually a good time to do it because it gives me time to work on my record. Um, and it also gives the new, like, well, in, in putting out the five album, mm. we've noticed that I got a lot of new fans or supporters of my music. And a lot of them have discovered me on five, these younger kids. So, you know, 10 year olds, 12 year olds, whatever. Mm, mm, mm. And, uh, they don't know how you're going to go my way. They don't know circuit. They don't know Let Love Rule. They don't love Mama Said. Mm -hmm. So it's a good time for them to be able to without having to buy all the records, you know, because sure. can't afford to do that, so sure. get a sample of, of where I've been. Mm -hmm. what, what, is, what is your favorite track? I mean, your personal uh, favorite track? I don't have one. you got to have one. <laughs> My favorite track? I really couldn't say. Uh -huh. I really couldn't say. I mean, there's, there's things that I, you know, like I, like I could say, well, I'm really satisfied with the recording of this, or, you know, I could break it down into different mm. categories. I mean, I think one of my favorite tracks it's a song called Today off the Circus album, mm, mm. which I love the recording. Mm. I love the balances, um, mm. you know, um, but, uh, you know, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Sure, sure. I mean, you produced Chris Summers' album. Um, yeah. That would have been... Yeah, I, I did. I actually got it. Um, I had the single first, and uh, and then I noted that, obviously, um, your involvement, it was a five-track sampler, and then couldn't wait to get the album. Good album. Stunning album. It was a shame that uh, the record label folded and didn't know what to do with her, mm -hmm. because it was a really, really stunning record. I think she's an amazing writer, singer, mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's over. But I mean, for you, um, you, and in my mind, always been a perfectionist, never put out anything that you weren't completely and, and actually happy with. Um, what is what does the future hold for you know for you? Is are, are we looking? I'm I'm really anxious. To make this next record, like I said, I've started it, and uh, I'm feeling it. You know, I'm really feeling this next record, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, man. Mm. An exciting time. It. And it feels good. It feels good. I feel like it's a new beginning. And mm. Mm. So uh, I think it's going to be a very strong record. Mm. Well, we look forward to it. Um, thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's been a, it's been a real honor to, 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 to chat to you, and uh, thank you very much. I know your time is at a premium. Thank you.